What is your partner's strangest request while having sex? Had an ex request I wake her up from time to time with sex. Every time I did she got highly upset with me that I woke her up. She wanted me to tie her tightly and then lay another girl on top of her so she could feel every thrust but no none of them were for her. I was never able to make that happen but I'd be lying if I said I haven't thought about that asterisk alot asterisk. Asked me to role play as an artsy and demanded I insult her with ever increasingly anti-Jewish slurs and at one point suddenly said I'd gone too far and left and broke up with me. I wasn't even into it, she'd had to talk me into it in the first place. I was fine when she wanted to have sex on her mother's bed. I was fine with it, even though her mom was home at the time. Her mom walking in on us wasn't a deal breaker. Turns out she was using me as some weird revenge thing with her mom. She wanted to call me by a different name. I later found out that it was her brother's name. One night things are getting hot and heavy and I want my fiancé to dirty talk as it turns me on, he is going at it. When I blurt out. Talk to me like I'm your sex doll. He just paused and said I wouldn't talk to a sex doll and started laughing. Our memories. It, I meant to say dirty talk to me, but clearly my brain wasn't working at the moment. I was once requested to hold a knife up to my partner's throat. I offered to buy a prop knife, rather than the real one she was showing me. Once had a partner ask me to hold a gun to her head. Yes she wanted it loaded. She wanted to think slash feel like she was in danger. I said no to hum happy birthday on his cock on his birthday. I dated a girl once that insisted that we try to sleep together all night with my asterisk 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 still inside her. This was my ex-girlfriend. She would pretend to be a Russian masseur at a sketchy polla who gives me a royal massage and then asks for money for a happy ending. She smokes a cigarette and gets on top and acts totally uninterested and bored while I have to act like it's the greatest sex ever. We did this probably 30 times over the span of a two year relationship. She was into CNC, consensual non-consent, rape play took a lot of trust to get into that, but cool cool it was fun and she loved it. But then she took it to another level when, now I want to role play we are Neanderthals. We don't have language or knowledge of technology so for instance, if you find my vibrator you don't know how to turn it on, but you might discover, and that could be fun. Also I want you to grow tired of my stupid primitive ways and just pound the asterisk 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 out of me when you actually get bored with the roleplay itself, but stay in character please. I've had to draw the line with certain girls asking me to joke or slap beyond my comfort level, but a girl asking me to talk to her in a comforting voice, like I had just found her in a car wreck, while asterisk 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 her, takes the cake. I gave it a shot, but I couldn't keep a straight face. A girl once asked me to hurt her, so I pinched her, and she was like, Lmao I had never engaged in rough sex at that point, she was like no, hit me. Hurt me and, when I went in a belcher going uh she climbed off. Another girl wanted to do knife play, but I was like no I'm too clumsy I'll stab one of us. But I always laugh about me pinching that girl, when I was like 20, because it's probably the most wholesome and naive I've ever been. Take a cold shower, get out, immediately lie face down, make no noise, do not move. To me way too long to realize he was a closet necrophiliac. Not my partner but me. Once when I was getting down and dirty with my boyfriend, and we were in the middle of some heavy foreplay, and just about to start the actual intercourse part of it, I was just so fascinated by how erect he was, so I asked him if I could hang a hanger on it. Strangely enough he obliged. He drew the line when I asked if I could add clothes to the hanger to see how much weight he could hold xd. She wanted it in a picnic table in a park at night. No one was around, so we weren't flashing anyone. But the weird part was this raccoon who walked up, stood on its hind legs, to see what we were doing. Seemed to figure it out. Can gave a little raccoon smirk and walked away. 
It was kind of weird being a porn actor for a raccoon. After reading this thread I learn, my sex life has been utterly vanilla, and I'm fine with it. Can you say quack? Quack. Yes, but like a sexy quack, I cure a sexy duck. Question mark question mark exclamation mark. Actual quote, mid one night stand back quote can you let my dogs in? They like to watch. TBF they were a pair of golden retrievers. I once had a girlfriend that would want me to surprise her by waking her up on some random nights by sucking her toes. Hey, guaranteed sex. In the middle of having sex my ex-girlfriend requested that we play hide and seek. I was not amused at first. She explained that once I found her, she wanted me to force myself into her. Sfjord I believe was fire truck. She had a three story house and we would start in the master bedroom. Once I found her and penetrated she would immediately stop resisting and we would put her feet behind her head. I became very fond of hide and seek. She would resist and fight but once I hit the objective it was super intense. My girlfriend brought deadly meats in 4-4 play. She wanted to surround my junk in sliced ham and eat off while performing oral. I remember her feeling dejected that I couldn't stay aroused. I wish you had two dicks. Her subtle way of telling me she wanted a threesome. Eventually she told me the only way she could get off was with two guys. The girl offered to order a prostitute to teach her how to have sex. I had a GF who made it very clear if she yells stop or no I should keep going. She got angry when I did stop when she yelled stop once. Took me some time to adjust to the fact that was her things. She wanted to watch me asterisk 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 slash be asterisk 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 by another man. I'm a pretty open, honorable, and fun dude but just couldn't get behind that one or in front of it as the case might be. More of a lead up than doing it ex-partner always wanted to be graped by Santa. I always thought she was joking, yet she was quite serious. She had a costume to go and everything. I was quite portly at the time and could actually fit into the suit. Wanted me to dye my beard white and force my way into the house with a sack of toys and asterisk 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 and then take her while going ho 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 every once in a while. Or the occasional she catches Santa planting presents and for her being a bad girl needs to be punished. It was too weird for me to do it outside of the Christmas season. I once did it as a Christmas in July type situation. It was about as awkward as you can imagine. But she loved it and it's funny looking back at it lmao. Years ago, partner asked me, female, not to move during sex. Good times were had by one. Finish in her morning coffee. Not a request, but I was half asleep one morning and my GF started to give me a hand job like lazily. It felt really good and then she just stopped, like right before I was ready, so I just grabbed her hand held it around my junk as I finished. I didn't know she was actually like. Sleep jerking me and then she woke up to me just a asterisk 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 her fist. Not really strange just funny, my girlfriend liked being spanked or getting rough. One time I misheard her. We were on a super romantic trip, everything leading up to that night. Some of the best sex we've ever had. She whispers come inside me which I misheard her slap me. So I slapped her. And to her she's like well I guess he really hated the idea of coming inside me or mayo. Afterwards I realized what she said and we laugh about it now. Asked a girl what she liked in a guy and she replied I like a guy that will suck a cock for me told her I was not that guy. I don't do the one night thing often, but I went home with a guy once that told me he wanted to try something. He left the room, came back, and handed me throat numbing spray. He said he would enjoy it more if I couldn't feel it. I just handed it right back and said I had to go. Girl I was seeing, couldn't stay the night, she asked if I wanted her to call one of her girlfriends to sleep over. Not necessarily sex, but sexting. 
someone who had messaged me after noticing my username asked me to print out a picture of her tits and take a video of me coming on the picture and sent her the video. I felt pretty weird doing it, but I guess I didn't hate it 5 sevenths would come on paper again. I'm just here looking for some new kinks. She was 24, I was 32. She was blonde, amazing body, college volleyball player. Smart as a whip and funny. I was falling in love. It was the conclusion of our first date. We were having extremely compatible and good sex. Our hands were intertwined, we were covered in sweat. It was hot. But then I felt my left pinky finger bending back. I thought we were at a weird angle, so I adjusted. But then it happened again. Again. And it started to really hurt. I had to stop. What are you doing? I asked. Okay sorry, but like we are cool right? Sure yeah, but... Lem break it. Just your pinky. Let me snap it. She had a fantasy about asterisk breaking a guy's fingers during sex asterisk. She said she'd be so happy with just one. I had to decline. I still wonder, though, had I let her, would I have an amazing hot smut kinky wife? Or would I never play guitar again? Not my current partner, but my ex-girlfriend, asked me if she could asterisk 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 on my chest once. Not my so but me. I often ask her to flex her biceps and let me feel them as I get close to climax. I'm sure it has to make her feel awkward, but damn if it doesn't finish me off each time. Stop moaning so loud. I stopped. EWW, don't make a face. Honey, I need to express this somehow. You're either getting moans or facial expressions. This is the same dude that pulled out his phone while I was on top of him. Oh, don't worry, I'm not taking a photo of you. I'm just checking Instagram. He asked me to pee directly on his asterisk asterisk asterisk. I didn't get it. But I figured it's NBD, as long as I'm not getting peed on. And then he referred to it as marking my territory, and I swear I went from confused, but willing to completely turned on instantly. You just gotta frame it correctly I guess lol. I don't know if this counts, but if I tried initiating any kind of foreplay or beyond kissing, he would tell me to stop, and just asterisk 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 her. Like. Foreplay has always been arousing to me, and I have always wanted to have foreplay with a girl. Just the thought of making a girl feel pleasure without actually having sex just seems so hard to me, but I was never allowed to try. Just straight six, and done is all I got. I should wake him up with oral. Tried it, he was moving and enjoying it, so I assumed he woke up. He finished. He never woke up. Not me, but I know a guy who banged this girl. One night stand scenario. He falls asleep. Wakes up with her asterisk 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 all over his cock and her playing with it. He freaked out, washed and got out of there. She was all I told you last night I was into this. Sing to me. She wanted me to pretend to be a border security officer that she has to sleep with in order to not get deported. Not me, but a friend's new girlfriend called me crying and freaking out one day. When I finally got her calmed down to the point that she explained what happened, he had wanted to do diaper play, and she was young and inexperienced, and was not prepared for people having off the wall kinks. Sadly she couldn't get over it, so they broke up, and that was more than I ever wanted to know about my friend's sex life. Wanting to get railed in a Victorian dress in a greenhouse during a thunderstorm. He wanted me to ignore him while he did his thing. She said to suck on her, amputation, scar like my life depended on it. Was strange the first time, but now it's a regular part of foreplay. Edit, her left leg was amputated at the hip. On one side of the scar she says it feels like her, but on the other side feels like the front of her leg. The scar itself is quite sensitive. Thanks for all the upvotes. My ex straight up asked me to rape her. 
My logical and analytic brain was so confused because to me, it being non-consensual was the whole point of rape. If she wanted it, it's not rape anymore just rough sex. But no she was adamant about being raped, like I had to do it, while she didn't want it. She wanted me to do it, while she didn't wanted me to do it. I'm still confused. But then every single one of the sexual partners I had in my life eventually slided toward asterisk 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 me like a slut. Asterisk 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 me, like I'm an object, that belongs to you. Be forceful at such a turn on or similar kind of things, even though they were all wildly different women. Several of them the quiet and shy type. So I guess dominant slash forceful fantasy is pretty common among women. At least based on my small sample. So the p-value might be too high to conclude though. I was once asked if I wanted to do water sports on a third date. I did not know what that meant, and my naive ass turned up to their house wearing swim shorts and goggles and surprisingly I was both prepared and unprepared. Had a guy who was into costumes. Not roleplay, not a particular costume. Just liked literally anything that looked costumer, from my $700 butch lesbian and in character cosplays, to like a $12 spirit Halloween girl in jail costume. It's not the weirdest asterisk 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 on here but it just strikes me as odd how much the thing really was the costume itself. I once had to decline to vomit on his asterisk asterisk asterisk. He insisted we could use the shower. I again declined. Then he grabbed the back of my head and tried to gag me with his cock. Last date. More than one guy wanted to watch me pee. Like not even pee on them, or pee while we were having sex. Just go to the bathroom and watch me pee into a toilet. I was chatting with a college boy who wanted me to asterisk 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 him in his barn, while he jacked off his horse. Just nay, son. This is getting so buried. But for quite a while there in my twenties, I did this shy, introverted librarian type of girl, who was an absolute demon in the bedroom. She had many requests. The strangest request of all was that I hit her in the face with a closed fist as hard as I can while asterisk 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 her. Had to say no to that one. For those requiring an explanation, and I can't blame you too much for that, it was sort of a flex among my gf and her friends to compare sex related injuries with each other. One friend showed up with a split lip that her bf gave her. Someone else had a sprained wrist, courtesy of her own BF. So, my GF wanted to establish dominance by showing up with a black eye. Yes, I've healthier relationships than that one. Edit guess this didn't get buried after all. A girl once saw my nightstand pistol and asked if she could shoot me with it just a little. Like in the leg or something. With one partner, she was a virgin into her 30s when I got with her. We moved in together just the two of us as flatmates and eventually ended up dating for years. First time we had sex, missionary, we took it really really slow and loving and she loved every minute of it. Second time, her on top, she asked me to put a finger up her, but while doing it. Later she confessed that, in the time prior to us actually sleeping together, when she knew nothing about me, and I was just the tenant renting a room from her, there was a time, when she had bent over in front of me, and got an immediate thrill by doing so. She admitted that, if I had just taken her there and then, a basic stranger taking her virginity, she would have actually not stopped me, and I didn't know she was a virgin at that point, so I may not have even known that's what I was doing. She was absolutely, definitely a verified virgin though, so many things gave that away over the many years I was with her, not least her close-knit foreign family who all shared a house for her life, until she moved to the place I met her, all basically telling me that she'd never even been out with a guy, never had a boyfriend even when a kid, etc. and there was never any privacy in that house slash family. But she enjoyed bad stuff. When she was younger apparently she would masturbate lots with a pencil as the only thing she could have to do so, and she had often put it in her butt, apparently. The only woman I've known who really didn't care where you went, so long as she got something, and often suggested it herself, especially if it was that time of the month. Even on the most romantic of occasions, 
spur of the moment, or things just for her, it would often be anal that she wanted, and you'd be hard pressed to tell which she enjoyed more, and as far as she was concerned both would satisfy her to the same amount. Also the only woman I know who, when I split up with her, I specifically asked what she wanted to do with all the videos which we had made in the years we'd been together. She loved making photos and videos, but obviously we never showed them anywhere. We bought a camcorder along, after they were obsolete, just so that we had a device we could use just for that, and even arranged holidays, and took props etc with us specifically. Knowing we would make a couple of movies of ourselves, while we were away. We split, I asked and she told me outright, to keep all the videos, she trusted me, and wanted me to have them. And she had never once watched one of them back herself, so she had no idea what was on them, and in some of them, she wouldn't have known, if I was filming or not, she liked that, and even the suggestion of it, that was part of the game, really, with her. She loved knowing, that there were videos of her out there. Video she hadn't even seen herself, of her doing absolutely everything, and that she wasn't ever allowed to see them, that they were just for men, to look at her meaning just me, really, but just and like talk, that I might share them with friends, on the internet, etc. We both worked in professions, where you would never want those videos to be released anywhere, though. I still have them. I did more with her just on camera so not counting the majority of our sex life, than I think I did collectively with every other woman in my lifetime. At one point she was trying to chat up a woman that she met on the bus each morning because she wanted to see if she could chat her up, get her to sleep with her, and then bring her into the bedroom with us both. She was always too shy to actually manage it, though, but she loved me teasing her about it. I'd lay money that she tried sleeping with a woman as soon as we split up and she was single again. It's always the quiet ones. Not a single thing. Going to reach 15 years this year of never requesting asterisk nything asterisk. I consider that pretty asterisk 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 strange. She wanted to do a roller play in which we would asterisk 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 as two male best friends. I couldn't bring myself to do it lmao. Can I put eggs up your ass? She wanted me to meet up alone with her ex, and have her ex take pictures of him holding slash measuring my cock, or holding objects next to it in comparison. She said he'd be down for stuff like that, and she'd be much into it as they both apparently were into humiliation, and still were on that front. I declined but said he could watch if she wanted. But that wasn't what she wanted to hear, and we never spoke again. Had an ex who loved having sex on her dad's bed. Whenever we hooked up at her house she always wanted to do it on his bed. Was kinda weird to me, but sex is sex. Had a woman I was dating ask me to pee in her, while I was hard, and inside of her. I had to work on the road for a while, and had another woman I was dating, send me a pair of her used dirty panties she asked me to come in them on top of her come in them, and send them back to her, so she could enjoy them. Two separate women crazy as asterisk asterisk asterisk, but the best sex. It seems a little tame, but the guy I'm with is into being smothered. Like having his face sat on and me just, putting all my weight on him. Like if he feels like I'm not putting all my weight on him, he pulls me down. Maybe it's like a sexy weighted blanket, idk. I've never been dom, but a former partner liked me to talk down to him while we were intimate. Like really dirty asterisk asterisk asterisk. I had to be drunk to do it, I was just divorced, and though I was like back quote woohoo. Fun. I could never do it sober. He wanted to be a cuck, and would go so far as cucking strangers as me, and having me read them as we did it. He couldn't bear to share me though. It was awkward holding a phone, reading, while trying to maintain my own dialogue, and enjoy the sex. He also tried to get me to pee on him, and I couldn't do it. Also someone linked the post of the guy whose wife suddenly wanted him to asterisk 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 in her mouth omg ha 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 ha. A girl once told me she fantasized about having sex while blindfolded and wearing headphones playing music. It's definitely not super weird, but it's always seemed unique to me. 
I didn't read any other comments about something like that at least. I dated a woman who wanted me to bite her. And not, like, normal sexual biting, not that I really knew it at the time. I was a closeted pervert prior, but urgent, before being with her. She wanted me to bite a smaller section of her skin as I could get between my teeth, as hard as possible, while penetrating her. I to put two and two together, and realized she'd sexualize the pinprick of her heroin needles. This thread is making me realize that I may have made some strange requests to partners over the years.